Hello everyone and welcome back again. In the previous session, we started discussing the information that is given in this question and we have seen that this information is required in order to solve the, the question and in order to determine the mixed proportion of the concrete. And this concrete is asked us to design a concrete with the characteristics compressive strength of 30 megapascal at 20 eight days uh, and in order to solve any doe method design concrete using this method we need to use the doe sheet and the doe sheet we have different stages and at the end of each stage we will determine something for example for the first stage we will determine the target mean strength and the water to cement ratio in the second stage here we will determine the or at the end of this stage we will determine the water contents. At the end of stage three, we will determine the cement contents. And the same goes for uh, stage number four, we will determine the total aggregate contents. And lastly, at stage number five, we will determine the sand contents or the fine aggregate contents. And at the end of the day, we will come out with the mixed proportion for the mix for our target strength. So what is our strength that we need to design we need to design a concrete with the characteristics compressive strength of 30 megapascal that achieved at 28 days or concrete grade 30. so today we'll start learn the first session here uh, the first stage to determine in this stage we will determine the target main strength and the water to cement ratio but today we'll start to start to know how to fill these numbers. So the answer sheet of this question, actually, this is the answer sheet. And this is uh, the number that you need to fill based on the information given in the question. This is the same question. I just put it here in order to be close to the answer sheet. So this is at the end of the answer sheet after filling all these number. And at the end, I came out with the mixed proportion, cement, water, aggregate, and course aggregate and we will go through all these number how we how we calculate this number and how we can could get this number so starting here this is this plank starting here characteristic strength we have what is our characteristic strength the characteristic strength of concrete is 30 megapascal at 28 days we just simply write here 30 megapascal uh, that should be achieved at 28 days here what is else the proportion defective or the defective rate and it should be given in the question and the defective rate here is 2.5 we just simply write here 2.5 percent and we will learn why do we need this defective rate and why why it is uh, given in the question then standard deviation the standard deviation is eight why here there is no information given in the question about what is standard deviation that you should use so in order to determine the standard deviation we need to use these we need to start actually using the figures and table that we have already discussed and i show you before that is come with this method and it will help us during the calculation so if the standard deviation here the standard deviation is not given in the question so we need to use this figure so this is the first figure that we will start using in order to determine the standard deviation so what is this figure actually this figure is the relationship between the characteristic strength and the standard deviation and there is two lines here so which line do you can use we i already have the characteristic strength my characteristic strength is 30 megapascal right 30 megapascal which is already given in the question so i will start to use this is 30 megapascal the compressive or the characteristic is 30 megapascal then i go up i can either use this one or this one so this one you can use it if you don't have any uh, previous results or the result the beaver result is less than 20 and if you have a result more than 20 previous result more than 20 then you can use this one but in any case 
more of safety you can use the one on the top and you can get the standard deviation which is eight so it can be either eight or if you want to use this one will be four but i will go with the eight which is more safety for the uh, for the design so this is the standard deviation if if it's not giving the question here so you we know how to determine so it's eight now a margin this is the, the this is the process actually we are getting the main string so what is main string main string we normally design a concrete more than the characteristic string and the main string here the main string is the characteristic string a plus margin and the margin here is a function of a constant k and the standard deviation and in order to determine the the target main string the standard deviation is already given in the question right 30 plus k k is a constant and k here is a function of the defective rate 2.5 so also here we start to use also this table in order to get the constant k so the constant k here it can be either 2.33 1.96 or 1.64 so which value do i use based on what is the defective rate is giving in the questions and in the question the defective rate in the question is 2.5 percent 2.5 percent then the constant rate will be 1.96 nine six so this is the constant k so we write in the sheet the constant k here is 1.96 how we get this one we get it from this table which is a function but with the defective rate which is already given in the question so 1.96 and 1.96 time the standard deviation this is the margin 16 so i need the the target main string, uh, let's write it here. The target main string equal the characteristic strength plus margin. And the margin is k times the standard deviation. So the constant or uh, the characteristic strength is already given 30 plus the constant k is 1.96 times the standard deviation so this all is margin extra so it would be 30 plus 16 so the total main strength would be 46 so here is the same k I, I need to calculate for the margin the margin here is k time s k time the standard deviation k is 1.696 time the standard deviation it it will be 16 so the whole one here is 16 and the whole this section is margin and 16 plus the characteristic strength here i will get 46 so for at the rest of the calculation i will start using the target main strength not the characteristic strength we are designing now for concrete that can achieve 46 megapascal not 30 megapascal because 30 megapascal is the characteristic strength main strength is the characteristic strength plus margin extra if we have like this is how we can get the 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 main strength if we can discuss this one in more details here like if we can take more example this is the uh the, the calculating the main strength based on the normal distribution and this is the defective rate that we can get and this is the main strength this is the characteristic strength and based on the characteristic strength we have a constant k which is 1.6 times the standard deviation in order to calculate the main strength so don't confuse yourself with this one you just memorize the target main strength is the characteristic strength with already given in the question which is 30 megapascal plus the margin the margin is the constant k times the standard deviation the constant k is given in this table this is the constant k it can be either 2.33 1.96 or 1.64 and how we can get this one is actually a function of the defective rate so the defective rate in the question 
is already 2.5 or here the defective rate is 2.5 percent so 2.5 percent here is 2.5 percent so the constant k related to the defective rate of 2.5 percent is 1.96 so k is 1.96 time the standard deviation the same as what we have learned how to calculate it from the this uh, figure or you can do it the same as for this one which is the relationship between the characteristic strength and the standard deviation our characteristic strength is 30 megapascal we go up and we get the, get the value of the standard deviation and at the end we can get the target main strength which is the characteristic strength plus the margin here the target main string is equal to the characteristic strength plus the margin the margin is the constant k from this table and the standard deviation it can be either given in the question or you can get, determine it from the figure so this is the the target main string so we stop here and we'll continue for the following session to calculate the water to cement ratio